Good evening and welcome to the benefice of Canterbury, St Dunstan, St Mildred and St Peter where you join us here in England for an, a, a, a service of night prayer or Compline on Wednesday the 3rd of May 2023. My name is John Morrison and I'm standing in for our rector, uh, the Reverend Joe Richards and our curate, the Reverend Jenny Walpole. The Lord Almighty, grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. Our traditional hymn is spoken. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. The refrain for Psalm 104 is, I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, how excellent is your greatness. You appointed the moon to mark the seasons, and the sun knows the time for its setting. You made darkness that it may be light, in which all the beasts of the forest creep forth. The lions roar for their prey and seek their food from God. The sun rises and they are gone, to lay themselves down in their dens. People go forth to their work and to their labour until the evening. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. O Lord, how manifold are your works. In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. There is the sea spread far and wide, and they, there move creatures beyond number, both small and great. There go the ships, and there is that Leviathan, which you have made to play in the deep. All of these look to you to give them food in due season. When you give it to them, they gather it. You open your hand and they are filled with good. When you hide your face, they are troubled. When you take away their breath, they die and return again to the dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created and you renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. Creator God, send your Holy Spirit to renew this living world, that the whole creation in its groaning and striving may know your loving purpose and come to reflect your glory in Jesus Christ our Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. In the Church of England, we have been encouraged in the days leading up to the coronation of King Charles III to reflect and pray for the coronation which is taking place on Saturday. The theme for today is faithfulness. 
A reading from Lamentations 22 and 23. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Our efforts to walk before God in faithfulness and uprightness of living are rooted in our response to God, who in spite of our waywardness is faithful towards us. Great is thy faithfulness, the old hymn puts it, drawing on the words from Lamentations chapter 3. In the coronation service, the king's oath declares that he will cause law and justice in mercy to be executed in all his judgments. This theme runs like a silver thread through the ceremony. As we pray with King Charles that God will guide him in these great responsibilities, we also think of our own desire to remain faithful to God's will for us. Let us pray. Lord of all power and might, the author and giver of all good things, graft in our hearts the love of your name, Increase in us true religion, nourish us with all goodness, and of your great mercy keep us in the same. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Responsory Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. The Nunc Dimittis, the Song of Simeon. Alleluia, the Lord is risen, alleluia, as he promised to you. Alleluia, alleluia. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Alleluia, the Lord is risen, risen, alleluia, as he promised to you. Alleluia, alleluia. Gracious God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the light of your Son, Jesus Christ. And we thank you for your creation upon which the sunshine in this area is glorious. We pray for all those who are in difficulty this night, all those who are afraid and all those who are worried about issues surrounding family, friends, career, we pray that you will calm them and that they will find safety in your arms. Our collect. Almighty God, whose Son Jesus Christ is the resurrection <coughs> and the life, raise us who trust in him from the death of sin to the life of righteousness, that we may seek those things which are above, where he reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. 
In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. May the risen Lord Jesus bless us. May he watch over us and renew us as he renews the whole of creation. May our hearts and lives echo to his love. Amen. Thank you for joining us for our service of night prayer and Compline. My colleagues will be with you tomorrow morning at nine o'clock for another broadcast service of uh, morning prayer. Stay safe tonight. Good night.